Uh, we're a city that's one of the fastest growing cities in the country. From 1990 to, to today, uh, our population has doubled in size and between now and 2042, over the next 25 years, we'll have an additional 500,000 new people within the city of Austin. And so one of the questions that I started asking myself and then folks in the community was, well, where are all those people going to live? We have cows in capacity at this point uh, uh, for 145,000 units. Um, and with an additional 500,000 people moving to the city of Austin or being born here, um, the question that, that we sought to answer at Glasshouse Policy was, uh, what policies can we put in place through the Codenext process to ensure that Austin grows in a way that's sustainable, equitable? My name is Francisco Enriquez. I am the Managing Director of Glasshouse Policy, which is a think tank that works on state and local issues based here in Austin. Where our land development code was written 35 years ago. It was written when Austin was a fraction of the size that it is today. Um, and largely what that land development code mandated was that most new development with the city of Austin really fit one of two uh, models, either high density, uh, apartment complexes and condominiums like those that we see popping up in East Austin or single-family homes. One of the purposes of Code Next is to not only develop enough housing and to zone for enough housing to support all of our population influx that we're going to see over the next 25 years, but also to encourage more diverse mixed-use housing types uh, that can accommodate different types of individuals besides just apartment complexes and, and single-family homes. What that means is getting to a place where through our zoning we have housing capacity that's at least three times the amount of housing that we will need uh, built on the ground to support that population influx, which means that we will need for if we want to have 135,000 units built on the ground, then we'll need almost 400,000 units zoned in terms of capacity to ensure we get to that place. And right now, draft three does not get us there, but I think that we have a path to, to ensure that we do get there through the Code Next process. Code Next can be divided into three different stages. Um, a staff-driven drafting process, which is where we are reaching the end to now, which is where staff has worked over the past number of years to write numerous drafts of the code, now we're in the third draft, that then will be used for the second stage of the process, which is the planning commission process. The planning commission is responsible for taking staff's draft of code next and amending it to ensure that it, one, aligns with Imagine Austin, our comprehensive plan, and two, accomplishes some of our basic citywide goals that we have for ourselves, like more affordable housing, less environmental degradation, and more transportation and transit options. What we can do now, moving on from stage two, which is planning commission, and then to stage three, which is then council consideration of the planning commission recommendation, is to get involved and let both your planning commissioners know who represent you and your district, but also your council members know that you want a code that is in line with Imagine Austin and that encourages more diverse housing types uh, along our corridors and in our transition zones to ensure that we do align with that Imagine Austin plan. And if you want to learn more about the work that they're doing and how to best get involved, you can go to evolveaustin.org.